Bishop T.D. Jakes has long been a lightning rod for criticism over his association with the prosperity gospel, a theology that teaches that faith, positive speech, and donations to the church can increase one's wealth. While Jakes has amassed a significant following and incredible wealth through his ministry, including a sprawling mansion and private jets, detractors argue that his message strays far from the humble teachings of Jesus. Critics have accused Jakes of exploiting his followers' faith for financial gain, leading to endless debates about the ethics of his ministry. Despite the backlash, Jakes has defended his teachings, insisting that he is simply encouraging people to live a life of abundance. T.D. Jakes's Woman Thou Art Loosed conference has become a massive event, drawing tens of thousands of women seeking spiritual renewal. However, not everyone sees it as a positive force. Critics argue that the conference, while empowering in theory, is more about making money than actually helping women. The high ticket prices and the commercialization of the event, complete with merchandise and books, have led some to question whether Jakes is truly interested in empowering women or simply capitalizing on their spiritual needs. This controversy has sparked debates about the balance between faith and commerce, with some accusing Jakes of using the conference as a cash cow rather than a genuine ministry. In 2013, the internet was abuzz with a viral video showing filmmaker Tyler Perry laying hands on Bishop T.D. Jakes during a church service after donating $1 million to the church. The dramatic moment where Perry appeared to be anointing Jakes led to widespread criticism and mockery. Many questioned the authenticity of the display, accusing both Jakes and Perry of staging the moment for publicity. Others were uncomfortable with the blending of Hollywood and the pulpit, seeing it as a sign that the church was more interested in celebrity endorsements than spiritual truth. The incident fueled ongoing debates about the intersection of faith, money, and fame. T.D. Jakes' church, The Potter's House, is more than just a place of worship. It's a real estate empire. Over the years, Jakes has invested in numerous properties, including a massive 400-acre estate in Fort Worth, Texas, and other lucrative ventures. While some see this as smart business acumen, others question whether a man of God should be so deeply involved in the world of real estate and wealth accumulation. Critics argue that Jakes's focus on material success may be at odds with the spiritual message he preaches. This controversy has led to heated discussions about the role of wealth in the church and whether Jakes's real estate dealings reflect a conflict of interest. T.D. Jakes and his wife, Sarita, have long been seen as the epitome of a strong, godly marriage. However, rumors have swirled for years that their relationship is not as perfect as it appears. Tabloid reports have suggested that the couple has faced significant marital strife, with whispers of infidelity and tension behind closed doors. While Jakes has always denied these rumors, they persist fueling speculation about the true state of his marriage. For a man who often preaches about the importance of family values, these rumors have the potential to tarnish his image and raise questions about whether he practices what he preaches. T.D. Jakes has faced intense scrutiny over his stance on LGBTQ issues, particularly his views on same-sex marriage. In the past, Jakes has been criticized for his seemingly ambiguous position, with some accusing him of trying to please both conservative Christians and the more progressive public. His comments in a 2015 interview, where he suggested that LGBTQ people should find churches that align with their beliefs, sparked outrage on both sides of the debate. Conservative Christians accused him of compromising biblical values, while LGBTQ advocates felt he was perpetuating exclusion. The controversy highlights the tightrope Jake's walks in trying to appeal to a diverse audience, but it also raises questions about where he truly stands on this critical issue. T.D. Jakes has often been accused of nepotism, particularly in how he runs the Potter's House and his various business ventures. His children, including Sarah Jakes Roberts and Cora Jakes Coleman, have taken on prominent roles within the ministry, leading some to question whether they are qualified for their positions or simply benefiting from their father's influence. Critics argue that Jakes is turning his ministry into a family dynasty, prioritizing bloodlines over merit. This has led to concerns about transparency and fairness within the church, with some wondering if the Potter's House is more about preserving Jakes's legacy than serving the community.